welcome to the channel. Today we are going to be looking at a special lighting product from Laser under their Smart Home brand, the Ambicolor Smart Hexagon Lights that were released in the lead up to Christmas 2023. These are 10 hexagon shaped lights that interconnect and allow you to create unique patterns that can be programmed to create amazing effects. We'll be looking at what you get in the box, how to connect them, running through the setup process, then the application that controls them and how to integrate them into Home Assistant. Then I'll give you my thoughts on them so you can decide if these are the lights for you. So let's flip that switch and see what you get in the box. In the box, you get 10 ambicolor hexagons, the inline mode controller, nine interconnects that connect each hexagon panel with each other, 10 double-sided adhesive stickers, a power adapter, and a great user manual. The hexagon panels are 153 millimeters across with a 10 millimeter non-illuminating frame. Each panel stands 80 millimeters away from the mounting surface with each of the six legs having a cable run integrated to make sure you have clean cable management. In the center of the back of each panel is a raised circular section with three electrical connection points, two larger connection holes for the outbound connections and one smaller connection hole for the inbound connections. Each is conveniently marked with an arrow for easy installation. There are nine interconnect panel connectors that have a wire length of 190 millimeters. The connectors have a similar proprietary three pin plug at the ends, but different widths. This will help with making sure that you get the right connector in the right hole. The wider connector are for the inbound communications, which is signified by an arrow pointing inwards. And the smaller one is for the outbound communications, also signified by an arrow, but pointing outwards. The flat, tic-tac shaped inline mode controller is 90 millimeters long by 40 millimeters wide, large enough for easy control, yet small enough to be inconspicuous. It comes with a built-in 300 millimeter cable that connects to the inbound plug of one of the hexagon panels to provide power and data. The power comes into the controller through a small barrel jack in the base. There are two buttons, one marked with a power icon for turning on and off the device. The other marked with an M for multifunction button, allowing for mode changes plus pairing. Also on the front of the device is an IR receiver that pairs with the included IR remote. The IR remote is super light and pebble shaped, measuring 105 millimeters by 50 millimeters and runs on two AAA batteries not included. It has controls for intensity, RGBW, various colors, music effects, speed of cycling of colors and a timer. Installation of the panels is simple, but my advice is design your layout on a tabletop beforehand and connect it all up and configure the app before it gets onto the wall. It's better to design and test before you put in place than have to change it later. First, connect the inline controller to your first panel, making sure that it plugs into the inbound plug, which is the smaller of the two plugs. Then connect the larger outbound data and power plug into the appropriate connection on the panel. Now connect the interconnect into the inbound socket of the second panel. Now repeat this connection process of outbound larger plug to the smaller inbound plug for the remaining eight connectors and eight panels. Now plug in the power adapter into the barrel jack at the bottom of the inline controller module and press the power button. Your light should now turn on. Sorry about the picture quality, but these panels have a combined output of 6,000 lumens and are very bright on full power. Thankfully, they also reduce to barely nothing. If this is your first time of powering on the device, they should automatically go into pairing mode. Now onto the app installation. The Ambilight Hexagon lights connect to the Connect Smart Home app for full functionality. Links in the description. However, as the Smart Connect app is a skinned version of the Toya app, I'd recommend using that as you get the same functionality. Make sure you are connected to your 2.4 GHz connection and that your Bluetooth is turned on. Open your Toya app. The hexagon light should show up as the Smart Saver device straight away. If they do not, then you'll need to put the controller into pairing mode by holding down the power button until the lights flash. Now press Add Device. Your light should now be auto-discovered. Press the Add button. Verify your 2 GHz 
SSID and Wi-Fi password and press next. The light should now start to be added. Wait until this is completed. Optionally press the pencil to the right of the smart space and change the name and press finish when done. Now press the done button. Because this Toyo software is specifically designed for LED strips and they're using the same functionality for the hexagon lights, you'll need to press the adapt button to define how long the strip is. Adjust the slider so that all of the lights are illuminated and press confirm. You'll be dropped into the main configuration screen for the lights. The top section of the screen is a representation of your light string, hence segments might relate to more than one hexagon. Below this are four buttons. The first is the base color of the light string. Pressing this plus the color will turn the whole string to that color. The next button is to change the color of the parts of the light strings. Selecting this and a different color, you can paint that color onto the string. The third button is the eraser and allows you to turn off lights on the string. The fourth button is the blend button and allows you to select colors to be applied to the hexagons or to blend across multiple hexagons. In the color selection, you can select one of 16.8 million colors. Or for a simpler selection, pick the color card and allows you to pick one of 55 different colors. The final selection of combinations are predefined color patterns that come pre-installed. Below the color palette is the brightness intensity slider and works dynamically on the light string. On the bottom of the screen is the power button, followed by a light icon for the main screen that you start on. Next are predetermined dynamic scenes that you can select from. This is also the place where you can design your own scenes. These are applied dynamically on selection. The next icon is for music synchronization mode. It allows you to sync the music patterns to the music on your phone that you are listening to. You can select from various different styles. And finally, there is a configuration screen that allows you to set timers for the lights and also configure the length of the lighting strings. The AmbiColor comes with some great features. They are super easy to install, allowing for up to 16 hexagons to be connected in one string. You get everything you need in the box to get stunning arrangement of lights in minutes. Just make sure you plan and test your layout before affixing to a wall. They have excellent connectivity, supporting both Wi-Fi B, G and N, along with Bluetooth 5.0, so you should never have a connectivity issue. Colors are vibrant and intense, with more than 6,000 lumens of brightness across the all 10 panels, with a deep saturation through the whole spectrum. As a Toyo-based device, there is a wide compatibility across all major platforms, but the degree of control can be an issue. More on that later. You get the ability to sync the light changes with music and align it to a style of music. And finally, you get on-controller controls and a remote, so you don't need to reach for your phone or rely on your voice assistant to control the lights. And while you are here, maybe consider subscribing and becoming a supporter of the community. It really helps the channel. Now comes the part you've all been waiting for, the Home Assistant integration. I'll assume you already have Toya integration loaded and that you've set up your lights in the Toya app. Navigate to Settings, Devices and Services, search for and select Toya. Now make a note of the number of devices that are connected, in my case 17. Now press the three dots to the right of the email and select Reload. The integration will say it is initializing. Once it returns, press OK. You should now see that the number of device count has increased by one. That is your new hexagon lights. Now press the device hyperlink. Now search for the name of the hexagon lights you defined in the Toya app or smarter space if you have not changed them in the Toya app and select. Now you can see the good and the bad parts of this integration. Yes, you can control the lights to turn them off and on. And by clicking on the light, you can set the color and the intensity as you would with any other RGB light. However, you cannot control scenes, which is a real shame. I believe this is a limitation of Toya, so hopefully this will change in the near future. So what do I think of the AmbiColor Smart Hexagon Lights? Well, they have vibrant colors with a great levels of saturation. They are super bright with over 6,000 lumens, have great connectivity with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. And as a Toya-based device, they have great integration with various different platforms. They are reasonably priced for what you get. Links in the description if you want to pick some up. 
If you're looking for a larger panel or greater controls from within Home Assistant, then you're going to have to double if not triple the money. So it's the classic trade-off of cost over features. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did then hit that thumbs up and if you haven't already considered subscribing then and hitting that bell it really does make a difference to the channel. Until the next one enjoy your disco nights with the ambicolor hexagon lights.